According to Tom Mean's book, Business Communications, we all use communication for five basic purposes. To establish and build goodwill, to persuade people, to obtain or share information, to establish personal effectiveness, and to build self-esteem. And I feel personally in this class, that last one has helped me a lot. It's true for me. Communication is important, obviously, for all those reasons I just stated. It wasn't until recently, though, or being in this class, that I've learned how important communication really is. Uh, I attended one meeting with our OOCSIP person, with Nancy, and like she said, it was the e-learning meeting. Uh, I'd like to take the time to tell you my experience with contacting Andy. Uh, the meeting itself, and then how I, what I feel about this whole experience. The initial contact with Andy uh, wasn't quite like how Nancy said it. I didn't feel like he was in a hurry or rushed or rude of any sorts. He called me and said that he already left a message with Nancy and wanted to know if the meeting at 3 o'clock on, on the 7th of February would be okay with me. And I said, that's fine with me. He was polite. He was courteous. He, everything was perfectly fine. I had I had got off the phone and was like, okay, cool. Now I can start with my homework. Um, and then with the meeting itself, we got there at 3 o'clock, or I think a little before 3 o'clock, and Andy had told me on the phone that he would be waiting outside for us. He wasn't there. He actually showed up a little late, which to me, with him being a dean, I thought that was kind of weird that a dean would be late to a meeting. Um, I, I also know that he was in the process of transitioning to a new position that so he said that he wasn't sure how many meetings he'd be able to get us into because he's learning this new job the meeting itself I thought was fairly professional um, they were all polite they were nice they communicated I thought for perfectly for the most part uh, like Nancy said one of the staff members took the time to explain, they asked us if we understood what they were talking about and then explained the purpose of the meeting, which was to like, find an easier way to do the online courses because right now, as you know with Angel, it can be the hell to figure things out sometimes. Uh, and they were also, one, some of the things they tried to, they were going over was what it, what counts as web-based learning, or web-enhanced, which, you know, it's just, you go to your class and you maybe goof, you can find documents online. Or a hybrid, which I've had, and which is you maybe one day a week, or you either meet in class, or you, you have one day where you just all online. Or just straight, flat, web-based, or web-based, all online learning. And so they were going over stuff like that. What counts as that as each of these things because some instructors don't necessarily know that. They think that what they're doing is hybrid, but it's actually pushing more towards web-based. Or they think it's web-enhanced and it's actually more hybrid. So they're trying to think, find ways to, I guess, solidify it better. Something else, one of the other things they did is they stayed on point. They didn't drift off and start talking about, oh, hey, how's your family, or other non-essential things that didn't matter. They dealt with their problems, that their goals. Um, one, something else that I found was, uh, I looked up a definition of interpersonal communication. Uh, and it states that interpersonal communication is the verbal exchange of thoughts and information between two or more people who <coughs> felt that in this meeting. Um, that was from the Effective Human Relations Personal and Organizational Applications book. 
that I uh, found. They also, I also found it 